I'm taking the rest of the week off. That's what my client Al said, with just a hint of anger in his voice. It's the only way people recognize what I do around here. Through sheer force of will, Al kept his company on track. As the executive responsible for manufacturing and shipping products to customers, his role was pivotal in the organization. And since lead times for certain critical components were measured in months, Al would have to place orders for those components well in advance of shipping the product based on very little data about future customer demand. Balancing that future demand with current cash constraints caused Al to have quite a bit of anxiety and the company's board of directors had very little understanding of this aspect of Al's job. And while Al was exercising prognostication heroics, the company's board was constantly criticizing and second-guessing him. It was truly a thankless job. Now, Al's the type who really goes out of his way to help others. He is liked by his team and by others in the organization. And having been with the organization since nearly its inception, he had grown into that role of managing all of operations. And as the company had expanded, roles had become more siloed, and that intimacy of the early company had disappeared along with the appreciation that he had once received. Working with Al, we recognized his style and his need for appreciation. We also recognized that the new management team simply wasn't going to give Al that appreciation since it just didn't register to them as a priority. Instead, this management team was more based on logic than on relationships. And even the appreciation had become monetized, coming in the form of financial bonuses rather than personalized. And so we needed to have Al, Al find a way to um, find appreciation from within himself. And for this, we looked to other aspects of his life, like his hobbies, where he would pursue the hobby with no expectation of appreciation from other people. And since Al had a lot of hobbies, there were a lot of great examples to choose from. So by connecting that sense of pride for the good work that you're doing with no expectation of appreciation from others, Al could learn to appreciate himself for the great job that he knew he and his team were doing. He could also be proud of the sense of community that he built within his team and his team's ability to consistently deliver product. And Al's story really shows the importance of appreciation in the workplace, both appreciating others for their contributions and appreciating yourself. Thanks so much for listening. If you like this, please subscribe and share this video and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks again.